Can you guess the output of this program? We have a log welcome at first line. Then we have a set timeout which has a callback and it log subscribe. And then on line 7 we have a log line. If I run this, the output will be welcome, like and subscribe. This happens because how call stack and event loop works in JavaScript. Welcome to day 7 of a 100 day JavaScript interview series and in this video we'll demystify the words call stack and event loop. First, line 1 is put into the call stack and it gets executed so it prints welcome. Then from line 3 to 5, this set timeout is pushed into the stack but it is immediately removed from the stack because it is an asynchronous API and instead put to the event table. Event table is the place where all the asynchronous stubs are stored. In this case, the event table will know that after 500 milliseconds, it has to push the command console.log subscribe to the event queue. But even before that, the console.log like command will be pushed to the call stack and it will get executed and it will print like. After 500 milliseconds, event table sends the command console.log subscribe to the event queue. Event loop constantly checks the call stack and the event queue. If the call stack is empty, it takes the command from event queue and push it to the call stack. So finally, the subscribe will be printed. That's it. That's all you have to know about the call stack, event table, event queue and event.